And so within the present political system, you find members of Congress arguing for jobs for their district or to keep a plant open without asking, should, they, should it be there? So now we have the panic, how to keep the automobile industry alive without asking the previous question, should there be an automobile industry? Should the automobile be, be the basic mode of transportation for the population? Most of the focus is on making automobile transport more efficient, particularly fuel efficiency, but not asking what are the sources of the need for cars. A large part of the automobile use is clearly in commuting. And I've re referred to this before that commuting is based on the separation of residents from employment. Part of this is necessary because of the safety at the job and therefore you could aim at mitigating the dangers at the job. Uh, part of it is the pattern of human settlement which is determined by real estate values. So in order to deal with the question of automobile pollution, and not only pollution, automobiles take up a lot of materials and occupy a lot of space. But for each car you need, besides the roads, several places for it to park at its source and at its destination. So that leads to the question of what other forms of transportation might be preferable to the automobile. In the United States, the Federal Highway Project was designed to give a massive subsidy to the trucking industry at the expense of railroads. It was a big boondoggle for the construction industry. Uh, it made trucking the major way of, of distributing industrial goods and agricultural goods. It undermined the railroads to the point where a lot of railway lines closed down, leaving the smaller towns in rural America without service. And you can see the alternatives available if you examine the European or Japanese railway systems. 